And pause because that song was so beautiful. Give a big round of applause for that song in itself. I love it, man. It's called Out the Mud, Mike Muse. Yo. And um, that was by a very talented artist. Uh, Heather, as you know, this man has been oh, supporting yeah. us for a long time, and we've been supporting him for a long time as well. Uh, resident of this area right here. He's put out a ton of slew of music. He has his own merch. He's an actor. Um, he's an NFT creator. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, nice. He's a model. Um, he's a man of the community. He's been 10 toes down, and he's been repping this music scene in Miami for years. And uh, from the moment we first met, him and I became friends. You know, I done given this man advice on every level, and he's giving it back. You know, and so whenever he calls me and tells me he has a new project, I get excited for him. So um, He's someone, like we just had Catalina talk about, Artists who could become be a success and not have to have a top ten Billboard hit. Right. You know, success isn't measured by where you chart. You know, and he's been able to sustain a career independently. He has his own label uh-huh. as well for all of these years. I can't think of how many years ago when we came to Miami and did that broadcast. Um, pre-pandemic. It was definitely pre-pandemic, mm-hmm. and he's been consistent ever since. And anytime I see him, he's in a great spirit, great energy. Please welcome King Hoodie. Back King to the show. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, 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 how you feeling, man? Is my mic on? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. You hit, 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 hit him with the knob right there. All right, cool. Yeah. yeah. Okay. How's that? Yeah. Adjust. Oh, yes. You yes. good? Yeah, I can hear me now. Man, how you doing, man? Give it up for King Hoodie. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. King, give, give it up for me. Give it up for me. <laughs> <laughs> give it up. Give it up. So, yeah. so we, we <laughs> talked about the last. Give, give a rundown um, since the last time we saw you really was. Was it at the broadcast? The last time I saw you was in Cali when we did the 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 cipher with Ruben Vincent, oh, Jason that's Cash. Right, that's right. Yeah, yeah. What am I saying? Yep. You did the L.A. cipher and that's smashed that. Mm-hmm. Yo, wasn't that a crazy experience? That was that was a bomb. Guru was behind doing the beats. Was, uh-huh. That was amazing. God that was damn. Amazing. Wow. Yeah. What kind of response from your audience did you get? Oh man, they were stunned. Mm. Like just the photos of of it being there and Ninth Wonder, Guru, you. Like it was it was stunning. Beautiful. And I was happy to to just be there. I was happy to be a part of it. You know what I'm saying? So it was it was amazing. They were just shocked. You know what I'm saying? Everybody was just blown away by that. What makes you happy now, man? Like what what? How do you measure happiness? Uh, happiness. That's such a great question. Um, I measure happiness by like the people around me, how happy they are. You know, if the people around me are like doing well, like my team that's up in here, like it's it's it really makes me happy. You know what I'm saying? That 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 really blows my mind. Wow, it's it's really easy for the people around you to mm. not be doing well, even if you are. So to make sure everybody's around you is straight, that's that brings me the most happiness. This is the most people I ever seen around you. Even when you came to that other broadcast and um and here in Miami you didn't have that many people around you. Yeah, no. How did you select these dudes? They look they look a little snaky to me. You sure about <laughs> these guys? <laughs> these some shady characters, man. Right. Look, <laughs> look, uh, hide your iPhones and hide your purses. <laughs> yeah, but how yeah. do you select? How do you know who you want to have around you all the time? Energy, energy is super big for me. Like now I'm at the point where I just trust people's instincts. You know, I don't really mm-hmm. like I don't really judge a person based on their skill set because I mm-hmm. feel like you can develop a skill, but you can't develop a value. You can't develop like a uh, a code about yourself. So I'd much rather work with somebody, even if we got to like train you up and like go through the slow steps, just like any good company. I guess that's really what I'm trying to say. Like I'm, I'm reshaping the organization around me and mm-hmm. making it like an actual organization. We're doing the proper things, core values, weekly meetings, putting people in position. Come on. Like it's, it's, it's really different. We want, we want to really build it out to make it something that's reputable in and of itself, not really dependent on anybody else. So what, what do you call the company? What's the name of the company now? Um, so right now it's funny because we're restructuring everything. When when I first met you, our yeah. production company is called House of Pain Entertainment, and the acronym for that is Hope. So if you ever seen all the logos and we got it, it's a Hope logo that I wear all the time. Mm-hmm. You know, and I'm probably gonna end up in some legal battles. You know what I'm saying with uh-huh. the original House of Pain from yeah. Jump Around. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I, I love them. They so. cool dudes, man. If it happens, let me know. Sweet, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm gonna make a call. The plug, oh, yes, man. Don't do it, man. King Hoodie's one of us, fellas. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You see, y'all heard him say that, right? Okay, okay cool. right. So we good. So what's the name? So I'm, what I'm finding out right now is that I was originally pushing that production company as if that was everything, but getting into like these branding conversations now, understanding like what a brand is and how you're supposed to put things on the forefront, I mm-hmm. realized that our first company wasn't actually the House of Pain Entertainment, the collective. Our first company was actually King Hoodie. Mm-hmm. King Hoodie is a company and it's a brand in and of itself yep. that needs its own thing. It needs to be staffed and formulated around that. King Hoodie's not me, King Hoodie is an idea. King Hoodie is a feeling. King Hoodie is something that is supposed to exist in the room because when I die, somebody's still going to be able to Google King Hoodie and listen to music. So yeah. it can't be me. It can't be a person. You know, when your mom passed, you can't 
reach out to her, no, she's gone off the earth. Uh -huh. But a brand is something that remains. So if, if what we're making remains beyond us, mm -hmm. then we got to approach it like that. So that's the way I've been changing the dynamic of everything that I do. It's like, oh, man, we're a brand. We got to move like that. King Hoodie's not me. It's everybody in this room collectively pushing their vision forward. Okay. Wow. I like that. I want to get a mic screen for King Hoodie, too, and, and adjust his level because I, I hear a little overmodulation, and I want to make sure we write. Because he know he got to spit some bars today, Tracy. <laughs> uh, yeah, I already brought that up to him. He's prepared. You know, it's so refreshing to hear an artist speak about commu prioritizing community um, above their individualism. Mm -hmm. Because oftentimes artists, you know, have been known for having these very bloated egos, you know, for mm -hmm. everything being me, me, me. I want the spotlight. I want the fame. Um, and even the way that you just define the happiness, I said, wow, it's really about the happiness of the people around you. Can you trace back the origin of that? Because I think it takes a while for some folks to realize it's not about them. It's about the collective. Yeah. If I was to trace it back, I would probably just say, like, the struggles that we go through on a consistent basis, like, it's a fight. Like, like the team that I have around me, we understand. That's actually one of our core values. One of our core values, like, it actually says the fight. We wake up every day with the understanding that we're going to fight today. If you don't have to fight today, today was a great day. But let's walk into the day expecting a fight. It's going to be some kind of dog fight or some kind of situation. So in all those different trials and tribulations, the people who have stayed and the people who have stuck, you know what I'm saying? Like my partner Apple, this guy right here with the camera, like he's been with me. The time that we came to New York, he was literally in a whole nother state. He like left that state to come to be and sway in the morning with us and then jump back on a plane to leave again. He was only there for that broadcast mm. and went straight back to the airport. Like, Wait, hold on, let me take it back. He don't he don't look shady. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he's, a, he's a good guy. He's a good Eddie, guy. Eddie. All right, go ahead. I'm wow. sorry. Go ahead. And how did y'all meet? We met at a photo shoot, crazy enough. Wow. Uh, my cousin was modeling. Like, my cousin works at Comcast, so it didn't make no sense why he was modeling, you know? Uh -huh. But he was modeling one day, and, and Apple just happened to be working with that brand. And so I just went just to support my cousin, and, and his brother was taking a photo of me. He was like, man, give me a meme mug. And I was like, all right. So I, I did a meme mug for him. And he was like, oh, that's an amazing meme mug. And I was like, all right. <laughs> He's like, man, where you from? I said, North Miami Beach. And the guy started tripping. He was like, oh, no, nah, man. I'm from North Miami Beach. And I'm looking at this 40-year-old white man like, no, nah, you're not from North Miami Beach. You know, there's no 40 year old white people in North Miami Beach. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, where they at? They all disappeared like the Mayans? They're, they're on the other side. They're <laughs> like sunny eyes. Like they they not there, you know? And so it ended up being his brother. It ended up being Apple's brother. And he was shooting another person on the other side of the shoot. He's like, you got to connect with my brother. And so me and Apple ended up connecting. And it was like synergy from the start. Like he loved hip hop. He could tell you like a story. Like he knows all of the history of hip hop. He's, he's a historian. He's Ooh. like, Apple right here. Look at him, look at him. <laughs> he's ready, he's, he's ready, ready to talk about. I believe it. What year Carl Poison Clan come out? You know oh my. Oh shit. Oh. <laughs> Did you even know dum, that's dum, 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 dum. <laughs> It was a disdain for me. The, the, difference right. between, hold up. the difference between me and Apple, he studied it, I was there. Right. Oh. All right, go ahead, King Good. Oh. You know, okay. uh, 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 that's on the, uh, I play, I play. All right, man, all right, man. Right. All right, go ahead, man. <laughs> Get off the mic, Apple. All right, <laughs> but go ahead. So I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. I keep cutting you off. Nah, nah, nah. I don't even know what we talking about anymore. We were talking uh, about how you met Apple. Yeah. Um, yeah. King Hoodie is here, man. Um, I, I want to get into the music, but wh what is the scene in my Miami? At one point, man, this shit was like Hollywood. You know, uh, with the music, especially when Rolling Loud became start building this brand, and a lot of artists from this area and region were at the forefront. A lot of those artists aren't here no more. Mm -hmm. What is here now? I would say, man, it's, it's, to be honest, the city is like in a strange position because I think there's a transition between like the South Beach kind of, you know, Miami vibe and then the different kind of underground Denzel Curry, Puya kind of vibe and then what's going on in Broward, like the Kodak and, and other Broward artists kind of vibe. So I think it's like the city is, is, is not really knowing what it wants to become because there's so many different people. Miami's not a place where people work together. Like we barely even talk to each other here. You really? know, like it's a cult, it's a very unfriendly culture here and people know. There was even an article that came out that said Miami like a few years ago Miami's the most unfriendly city in the world. What? So that 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 yeah. that overlaps not only just in the streets but into the uh, to the artistry, like artists like you never met Kodak Black or Yeah, no. Nah. Denzel no, so Denzel, I've actually met him. I met him a few times, but he got a lot of mutual friends between me and Denzel. Okay. So that's cool, but Den that's like his vibe. His vibe is to, you'll randomly see him at a soccer place just playing soccer. Like, what are you yeah. even doing in the side of the town, and why are you playing soccer? You know, it just don't make no sense. Like, but that's his his thing. But a lot of other people, they kind of stick to their cliques, and that's really what it is. Like, Miami is a, 
outside of South Beach, Miami is a collection of different hoods. You okay. got Overtown, Kara City, Liberty City, mm -hmm. North Miami, the Poking Beans, Brown Subs. These are all just different hoods. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So people who say that they've been to Miami, who've been to the beach, is like, you really never been to Miami. Like, Miami is a, it's a whole thing. And all those different areas, like, they just stick to themselves. Like, not a lot of people don't cross barriers mm -hmm. and there's a lot of but a lot, a lot of people in Miami just don't speak to each other it's it's not hate it's just the way it is though they're not hating on you it's just right. territorial it's just, the, it's just the culture right yeah. right and on top of that like the like Miami is also a melting pot so on one street you'll have like just to add to the reason why people don't talk to each other you'll have like 10 different cultures you'll have a Jamaican house next to a Bahamian house next to a black American house next to a Haitian house next to a Venezuelan house next to a Colombian house next to a Cuban house so like all them different cultures like you know, everybody in, in every single house on, on Ten House Street is speaking a different language and has a different culture. It's not like other cities where the whole mm. hood is Spanish. That whole yeah. area is Spanish. Yeah. Like some areas are like that, but most areas is all jumbled up. So mm. people stick to themselves out here for real. What, what about the um, pillars like the, you know, the Ricky Rosés, the, the Trick Daddies, the, the Uncle Luke's? Do they reach out? Do they, you know, try to? Uh, well, and it's not a knock on them, but have we right. seen that type of energy to bring? to galvanize all of these neighborhoods and different cultures. Have we seen that yet? Because imagine if that happened. Mm. It'd be amazing. Wouldn't that, it? That would be amazing. Even if even if one of those like bigger artists would have choose to do like a talent show, like a monthly Pitbull, talent show. Pitbull, Flow Rider, yeah. yeah. That would be amazing. That would change. I've been to Atlanta, and I, I would go to this spot called Apache in Atlanta, uh -huh. and it was like a poetry spot. But people were known to go to that spot, and people let me know, yo, you want to go there because you never know who's going to be there. One night, T.I. might be there, and another night, Jeezy might be there. Like, you never know who's going to be there. People's lives were changing on this in this small room, in this small place. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, man, because that's the culture out there where people pop up to these random places and will do that. So, like, if Miami was to implement that, like, if some of these – these, you know, people with whatever kind of platform they got was to do that. I think it would definitely change the face of the city. But then again, that's speculation. King Hoodie yeah. is here, man. Give out your uh, social media. King Hoodie Raps. King Hoodie Raps everywhere. King Hoodie Raps on IG. King Hoodie Raps everywhere. HB, you used to comment on his hair when he came out here last time. <laughs> <laughs> I know the first time I met him, I was almost in tears when you were reading his resume. Because the first time I met him, obviously, we, we heard him spit. when mm. We were at the Wood. Was it the Wood? Wood Tavern. Wood Tavern. Yeah. Um, and he was, you know, talented as a, a artist. And I said to him, well, if you don't make it as an artist, you can definitely be a model. <laughs> and I, I said that to him. I was like, look, I, I got you. Just let me know if it gets too right. rough for the rap. And when you said modeling, I looked over at him and he pointed to me. Right. And you, you were mouthing something. But what were you going to say? I was, yeah, you claimed it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, your exact words were, if, if rap don't work out, you can sell your body. <laughs> no, the, the, the other part. The other part was. The other part was after the freestyle. Heaven said, "I didn't hear shit you said because I was staring at your chest the whole time." <laughs> Look, he chest naked today too. But it, it was my way though of jokingly saying saying that to you because I mean, listen, we're in a world now where as artists, it's okay to do more than one thing. There was a time where if you were a rapper, that's all you could do was rap. That they didn't want to see you do nothing else, film, television. Nothing. Now you can do so much. And so it's interesting when you were sharing the story with Apple or something about a cousin and a model in the photo shoot. How did it? Did you really start modeling? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I model now. Um, I got people that just want to sign me and, and get me onto that. But I, I'm I'm still more focused on the music. But again, going into the branding conversation, now I'm understanding I got to do more of that and more of just showing the lifestyle. And I didn't know that was a thing. I didn't know people was like, yo, bro, if you really want to want to get people to see you you got to show them the things other than what it is that you're doing because i leave with music all the time like no nah, mm -hmm. focus on my music pay attention to the thing that we crafting right here mm -hmm. and then everybody comes like yeah but what do you do outside of that you know where what are you what do you think about what are you into i'm understanding like the world that we live in people don't really care so much about what you do as like why you do it and who are you around that mm -hmm. like do yeah. i like you as a person because if i like you as a person i'm gonna tap in with your music yep. yep and that's and that's what happens and it can lend to other things and don't be afraid i mean these are god-given gifts mm -hmm. don't be afraid to explore them model the music is one thing modeling is another thing brandon television film it all writing it can all, writing, it can all yeah, merch mm -hmm. it can all live in the same spaces and 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 people just appreciate it all you know so congratulations that's what i, I want to say I, i'm happy for you and sorry i put it so bluntly back then i do remember now having lots of cocktails yeah but i was focused you objectified him ah, sorry yeah. <laughs> I, was, I, was a, I, was I know what that feel, feels like because when i was coming up you know you 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 almost had to do one thing it was different if yeah. you did right. something else mm. they thought you were selling out that Absolutely. one thing so yeah. wow. i had a chance to become a naked chess model 
Oh. Uh, but I chose to work for MTV because I knew right. I couldn't yeah. do them both. No, right. right. You know okay. what I mean? No spring breaks for you. Who right. came Sammy after Gray. your body? Uh, the hip-hop, the world. <laughs> Uh, we, we you heard that silence? It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, Nobody a, said nothing. It's a lot. <laughs> tell them, Sway. It's tell a lot them who's of, coming to for Tell them King Cudi, a lot of female rappers, they won't say it, and I won't say names, they but really are. used to look at my body when I did interviews. Mm -hmm. Got it. Got it. All right, Mike Mills, you got a question? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kid. Yeah. <laughs> we need a cricket sound effect. Mike, yeah, yeah. You, know, you could take a minute, Mike. Ain't no coming after that. Yeah, I'll let that breathe. Let that have a beat. Let it breathe. Let it breathe. Inhale, All exhale. facts. I yeah. believe you, Sway. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. No cap. Thank you. Thank, thank you, brother. I didn't want to step on Sway's yeah. moment here. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Uh, but King Hoodie, I'm very interested <laughs> in the conversation that you're having so far is because, you know, you make me curious to learn more about you, mm -hmm. which is, I think, a, a point of an artist to be able to sell themselves because when you sell yourself, you make people interested and we hear the music. You're so self-assured. You're so self-aware. You're so culturally knowledgeable. You have an understanding of history and different worldviews. What do you rap about? Like, what is the Constitution? <laughs> because it doesn't seem like you can rap about what is popular right now and trending, but I'm just curious. That's such an awesome question. And it's funny because I've actually had to answer that question recently. Because before, it'd be like, yo, I rap. I just make the music. Don't you get it? And now I'm understanding people don't get it until you tell them. So I rap really for, like, the diamond in the rough. I rap for people who, are, who feel unseen, you know? I think people might look at me now and they think that I'm a certain kind of... I know people, man, that will actually tell me, yo, when I first met you, bro, I didn't like you. You look like some sexy, flexy, Rico, Suave, whoever, and you up in here on the stage living in your grave. They just had this assumption of me not knowing, like, bro, like, I... I come from a, a like I I've historically had very low self esteem. Mm -hmm. When I was like growing up, I, I I understood I was ugly. Women told me that I knew I was ugly. I had really bad teeth. We was really poor. We were living in abandoned buildings, in 19th Avenue on 167th Street. Like like super poverty. Like outside of I mean super poverty, bro. Like mm -hmm. that's the reality of my situation. So when people try to like put you in a box and try to be like oh you know, I remember one girl she told me like oh don't I don't know what we were doing. She was like don't make it too easy for him. He gets everything easy. And she had just met me. Mm. And I was like, dog, what are you talking about? You have mm. no earthly conception. Like, do you know what it's like to, like, like have your water and your light cut off religiously and mm. not understanding why? Do you know what it's like to, like, wait outside of a church for food that's, like, a day from being old but is good enough to eat now? Like, do you know what it's like to know what your mo know when the light is out in your house? On a random Wednesday, if I come home and my mother's grilling, I can see it from the stop sign. If I see my mother on a, on a grill, on a random Wednesday, oh, the power's out. I can tell from here Damn. the power's yeah. out. And uh -huh. she's cooking the meat so it don't go bad by the night. You know what I'm saying? So it, it make I know it's gonna be a hot sleeping and it's gonna be a cold shower, which is weird. You you realize that shit when there's no power in your house, you realize you're gonna have a hot sleeping mm -hmm. and you're gonna have a cold bath because you need power to make this hot and power to make this cold. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, so like people, a lot of people don't understand that. So so when I say I make music for people who feel unseen, it's the inside of me reaching out to the inside of you, telling you like, look, bro, I know what it's like to be a good person in a chaotic environment. I know what it's like to want better and not have any conception of how to get it. And so my job right now is to get it myself and then also put that recipe into the music. Like, yo, bro, look, keep going. Motivate, like, keep going, bro. Like, you got it. We're going to get this shit better. You know what I'm saying? So, How do you reconcile the two? Because that's not your exist existence now. Right. Uh, how do I reconcile, like, my present to my past? It's just a lot of conflict, honestly. Because mm -hmm. sometimes you don't know where to go. Like, I feel crazy sometimes because I have to figure out how to succeed in peaceful times when I don't know how to do that. Like, my team right now, they, they are really mad at me and they wow. get sick of me because I... Like, I, I'm i used to doing things with a sense of urgency. Yo, we got to do this shit right now. Let's make this work. Bum, 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 bum. It's going to happen right now. And they're like, oh, no, nah, bro. Like, we need to plan this out three weeks in advance. Mm. And that's something that's foreign to me. I'm like, you got three weeks of luxury? I don't know what that's like. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I know what it's like to, like, we got to hustle right now because the thing is due now. We got to make this happen right now. So it's it's crazy. I don't know how to operate. You're still trauma-minded. Is that what it's called? Yeah. No, yeah. I, mean, I, I don't know if it's called. I just came to thinking. mind. You're trauma minded. I right? remember yeah. having a conversation yeah. with some friends lack. around like mm -hmm. how sometimes the more that you heal, the less ambitious you feel. Mm. And that's because you realize that you were always <sighs> hungry for significance. You know what I'm saying? Because of whatever may have happened in the past, you're always chasing a level of importance because you didn't believe that you intrinsically had it. And so once you heal those things, you're like, oh, my God, I actually don't want as much on the outside because I recognize how much I already have. So that's a part of what can make things really tricky, too. I can relate to that. Yeah. That sounds real. That sounds like a thing. Because it forces you to really look at the true motives behind things and to be clear about your intentions. 
Because mm-hmm. sometimes the ego is making you think that something's pure when it's really stained. Mm. That's a bar. <laughs> King Leonard. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's a bar. No, that was real. <laughs> if you don't mind asking, how's the dynamic now with your mom um, seeing everything that you've been able to do and, mm-hmm. and accomplish? Man, my mother is like the most incredible person in the world. I got so much yeah. respect for her. Uh, she passed away in uh, January 2021 of coronavirus. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Crazy, yeah. right? Yeah. The we thing on TV that was like, uh, yeah. oh, that's a conspiracy, like, took my mother in 10 days. You know what I'm saying? It was like, you know, she wasn't, f- all, all my whole house had at the same time. So, you know, we do. We just going to, okay, we on tea and soup duty. Let's get everybody, you know, fired mm-hmm. up. Everybody's going to start getting better and everybody bounced back. But she didn't. She had like pains in her stomach. And then we ended up taking it to the hospital. They said it was um like uh, I guess onset pneumonia. Like it turns into pneumonia after a while, and then yeah. it hardens. And and it was crazy, man. Like I almost caught a case for that because at one point they didn't want to let me into the hospital to see her. Mm. So I remember getting into it. Like I had to break into the COVID ward, and that's a big no no during COVID. Wow. Yeah, yeah. And so yeah, I'm I'm probably never gonna be allowed back at Aventura Hospital. But that's just what it was. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And I broke in there because. The nurse that was allowing me to see her ended up stopped answering my calls, and then my sister said, "Yo, they trying to put a tube in her," and I was like, "Nah, bro, it shouldn't be that serious." So, I went in there and, and tried to rip her out of all the machines. Wow! And yeah, I was about to get into it with the with the doctor, getting into it with the security guards, and I had to escape there. And then my sister came in, and you know, she yeah got to the hospital and tried to do the rest. They ended up letting her out um, because we begged her, like, "Yo, let let us take care of her at home." They released her on hospital. She came back to home, and she was only there for a handful of hours. Her oxygen levels went straight to the ground, and we had to rush her to a hospital. She passed there at a different hospital. Wow, man. King Hoodie, man. Wow, rest in power to yes. your mom, man. Amen. She's smiling on you right now. Let's say her name. Myrna Roman. Say it three times for me, brother. Myrna Roman, Myrna Roman, Myrna Roman. Let's celebrate her, man. Big yeah. round of applause, Appreciate man. That. She's smiling on you right now. Amen. King Hoodie is here. You got the mm. new, uh, and thank you for being really uh, on transparent and open with us. You know, with family, you know, and these questions are coming because we haven't seen you, even though you and I communicate. And these are genuinely concerned and curious and excited questions to ask you because you look good, you mm-hmm. sound good, your mind is sharp. Yes. You know, um, your body's like mine. <laughs> you know, it's just, just a lot of. <laughs> Things Honestly, going in your did face. Did you have some of that coffee that George made <laughs> I us? I did. Like, George yeah, gave us some that cube, cube, What was that? Cube, that Cuban You're delusional. That, yeah. Yeah. I don't know if I'm delusional, Heather. I mean, I got arms. You yeah. sure your shirt is on. on. And you got a black shirt on, too. Like you a, know what? You look skinnier. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't right. Hey, before we go to this next song, I want to ask you a question out of Out of the Mud. Right? Um, the song Out the Mud. You said a couple interesting things in this song. And I just kind of wanted to get some clarity uh, of what you meant when you talked about artists who struggle and then eventually they get tattoos to look like Lil Wayne. Yep. So you think, <laughs> right? Let, w- <laughs> <laughs> It, let's unpack right? that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's unpack that. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. At, at what stage did you realize that, uh, believe that artists were getting tattoos to look like Wayne? <laughs> Yeah. hoping that it'll make them as dope as Wayne yeah, or, or yeah, they could yeah. get the same residuals from it. Like I, It's it's obvious in my generation, like everybody is kind of reaching, you know, I think everybody looks looks the same right now and I think it's strange to me. I don't want to you know, disrespect your life, but if, if I know that I just saw the same exact thing as you on Instagram, but you decided to get a tattoo on your face, it's just like, damn, bro, there might be some unpacking that we need to do right there because there's no reason why you should <laughs> want to do that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But I think, I think you know, for some reason, we as a society have come to the conclusion that it's easier to get on if I just clone myself. Right. You feel me? If I just hide my authenticity and I just become you. you feel me? If I just do everything that you do, then I should get on because my lane is already, you know, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? It's already established. Exactly. I don't have to do the work of trailblazing mm-hmm. when somebody's already stepped that way. So if I just do that, it's easier. And me being somebody who, like, I can't do that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I, I, I just suppress my authentic- authenticity so that I can portray something and be something. That's just, it's, it's not for me. And, and I find that we end up having conversation with other authentic people. We all see the same stuff. Like, we know this. We know this, that Lil Wayne is the archetype for everything that people are doing right now, from the rap music changing from drug sellers sure. to drug users. I'm a mm-hmm. rock star now. I could do this. You know, and it's the mentality behind it. And I love Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne is an enormous influence no, He's incredible, to me. man. You know Salute to Lil Wayne. Shoot him it's a round complex. of applause. Yeah. Man. I've watched, I remember seeing that man with a backpack on his back. Oof. In the middle of his rap career, going to school. Oh, yeah. We hanging out at a club. I'm like, Wayne, what are you doing with a backpack? I got my books in this way. 
That's was that your? What did he say? No more Colombian coffee. No Colombian coffee. I swear He hot. All right, look, man. <laughs> hey, <laughs> citizen. <laughs> I feel like I'm high right now, man. What the hell did George give us? What is that? <laughs> the Cuban <laughs> coffee. Oh, oh, Cuban coffee. Miami, Cuban. baby. Is that the yeah. Miami Cuba. thing? Yo, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. The yeah. Cuban coffee? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cafecito. You're going to get it. It's going to put you to work. Yo, man, I'm, yeah. listen, it already did. Hey, listen, what? citizens, 888-742-3345. King Hoodie is here. Give him a round of applause. The new EP is called Glass. Yes. We're going to play this song. We played Out the Mud, which is incredible, featuring Naja Monet, is it? Naja Mo- Monet. Yep. yep, and then I can't pronounce the other artist's name. Sa- 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 Sacajipo. It's like a Ooh. Liberian name. That's yeah. a beautiful name. Yeah. All right, and then we're going to play Glass. What is Glass about? Oh, Glass. Mm-hmm. Glass is my joint. Glass is the single that we're pushing right now. It's actually my favorite song I've ever created in my whole life, and it should be the world's yeah. favorite song. It's your favorite like it. song? What is it about? Yeah, uh, it's really just a breakthrough. It's a breakthrough yep. song. You know, like, people ask me why I even called it Glass, because there's nothing about Glass in the song. But it's like, man, this song just just represents a breakthrough, and what breaks better than glass? Mm-hmm. You know? All right, we're going to come back with King Hoodie and some bars. This is Glass, Sway in the Morning. I love it, man. That, that one right there is called Glass. It's off the new EP, King Hoodie. Citizens, if you don't, well, you should know who he is. He's been with us for years. King Hoodie Raps is where you can find him on social. King Hoodie Raps is where you can find him on social. That's Glass off the Glass EP. You, this is Tracy said. This is your first produced song. Yes, yeah. This is the first time I ever produced a song. This Self is produced. Mm-hmm. Come on. Wow, man. Yeah. This I, dude is great, man. I wrote it. I recorded it. I mixed it. I mastered it. and I produced it. Mm-hmm. There you go, man. So you got hot water in that house now, though, right? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever yeah. you need it. Yeah, yeah I've got, I've got it all, man. Hey, man. Let's celebrate. We in Miami, y'all. Big round of applause. King Hoodie is here. He Woo! know what it is. Yeah. He's no stranger to the show. <laughs> yeah, hey, man. He rapped for us in Miami. He's rapped for us in L.A. He's rapped for us all over the world. I want y'all to follow him, citizens. King Hoodie's raps. King Hoodie raps. You ready for this, bro? You know where you at, right? Even in Miami, man, we bring it with us. The Valley of the Hyenas! Oh. Okay, okay, got it. Love a good beat. Say, 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 say what I say. Look, uh, you gotta reach to come and get me. These shoes ain't just seppy, they too heavy, they too big to feel. A monster keep on stepping, just accept me. How a nigga feel? People make things messy, it's expensive when you get the real, but that don't mean you blessed. Box Chevys moving through the field. I realize if the real life isn't real, then what's the point? This ain't the real, this ain't the joint. We on the hills and making deals and making mills. It's like a pattern about to go get some Jordans. This ain't rings, just like Saturn on verses, a nigga matter. Tell them color people matter. My thoughts is like dark matter till the windows start to shatter. Every time I speak, the bladder stop in the city and chatter stop. She say, bring Biggie back every time. That I'm looking at her this evening And every after's like turning Another chapter, I'm reading it Like a pastor and spitting it Like a rapper on set I'm like an actor who never get chose for acting But show up like calling back is expected Bitch, that's a fact But no, it's not as confidence And confidently I'm on track To be the nigga that you have to hear It's obvious I'm that I'm also this I'm also one who bought a gun When these police was popping shit And killing niggas like a slit I'm back for this, it's that on holy war Ballin' bitch, I know the score Take it all that I record Coming off the ivory shore And you know I'm ballin' All these bitches take and notice hoodie banking in the beamer and i whip it like i stole it give me green and watch me roll it i can show you how to do this off top because you know i gotta do it short shot just like the short shot uh it's me and sway each and every fucking day and i'm gonna show you who i be rocking with heather b uh say King say hoodie raps, say, baby. say he's off say, the top say, man. say, say what we say what we say uh i say it like this can i stand up yeah uh, man. say i hope that i could be like you I hope that I can make it through I hope that though I represent the hope and not the dope inside my city streets I hope they know how much this city means to me In it like a B&B Catch me out in N&B Hanging with the people who know they feed off my energy Enemies Better be I'll make it out the jungle where I'm from When niggas peddling that dope and all the scammers call you dumb What you rapping? That should take too long We trying to get active, no subtraction Division long and money keep on stacking, never lacking And never acting like this is wrong But see what happened, karma overlaps and one day we'll be gone That's why I tell them I'ma get it, man, on each and every song Cause every time I'm on the mic, might be the last time that I'm on True story, I remember when Zoe and True story Was passing flyers outside in the rain Next day in the range, did something to my brain 
I knew I had to change to find a way to make a change And so I formed a company for Income House of Pain And now I make it rain, I formed the clouds on hurricanes Still remember how I came to be in this position I'm in Now when I walk inside events, they say that city, that's him He be snapping, no, he rapping all the places he been I seen him on that swear in the morning sight for rep for the crib No, I been super credible, I make this unforgettable Forgetful ass niggas ain't forgiving you Compared to what you did for them, compared to what they did for you Look, go and get a better view and see what hoodie did for you Minus all the jokes and all the games and all the ridicule When these niggas were sick of you, who stopped them getting rid of you? Dog, you can envy me or envy you But I'ma be the MVP of NMB until it's through uh, feeling revengeful I'm feeling like a million bucks Shit's getting eventful And I wanna count a mill for us I'm coming along From a long, long way away Long way from my home Doing things my mama don't condone I'm feeling closer than I've ever been before To the feeling you can't buy inside no store To the feeling you need God mixed with Selassie Mixed with Jesus to get toward To the feeling like we winning awards We winning, we went to war with the devil And we came back with a Baptist Went to war with my weakness And I came back with an actress Who went to war with her weekend To lay her back on my mattress I wish that all us could see As we jump from status to statuses hey! Palace to palaces Chalice to chalices Challenge the challenger And came back in the challenger Army fatigue on my arm Bruce Banner the Bannister If I'm on with these teenagers on Then what's gonna happen to us Karma is my armor Like Muhammad Jeffrey Dahmer Bring the drama While your mama sit outside And smoke the ganja Look, smoking marijuana I asked Mary if she wanna marry me Mary Juana And she left me with a seed I'm screaming It's a new world This is a different place to be I wanna be like B.I. G in 93 I push a SUV Riding down sunset with the T-top Rapping while my nigga makes the beat I'm screaming this up Hey, yeah. hey, hey. We in the five fingers, that's beat number four. We Let's got go. King Hoodie Let's right go. here, Sway in the morning, say for a five. Let's five go. fingers is back, what we doing? Go. Uh, 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 yeah. uh, uh, Only for uh, real MCs. Uh, uh, what we say, what we say? Tell them what we say, Hoodie. Say, 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 say. You gotta reach to come and get me. These shoes ain't just seppy, they too heavy, they too big to feel. A monster keep on stepping, look. I'ma come correct every time that I do it These niggas gotta understand King Hoodie, I'm too fluid Real rap music, this is how the fuck I do it I'ma tell you every day, even though I go through it, I still go through it uh, Coming off the top, no pad and pen, no dad and friends And no one who could depend on, way at the end I'ma do this shit for real, I'ma copy Copperfield Say I'ma do this shit for real, mean I'ma David Copperfield I came up here to have some fun, King Hoodie, I'm number one I'm shining like the fucking sun and busting like a fucking gun Uh. Every time a nigga do it, hey, hey. Every time a nigga do it, hey, hey. Every time a nigga do it, hey, hey, hey. Every time a king do it, hey, hey, hey. Every time a king do it, hey, hey. Every time a king do it, hey, hey. What we say? Uh, look. Uh, I say. I'ma jump on track to bring my city back No kitty rap, I bring you back to life I'm Frankenstein with every single thing I write I like to pop out late at night and let you know just what I like Like Hannibal, I'm about to bite And thank you for your sacrifice, nigga Look, God level talent is what I'm speaking on I challenge any nigga and balance the shit I'm speaking on I'm like, AI hey, will practice but passionate When the TV on, can't see me nigga Must have a Stevie on, thick glasses Bigger than a dream and better than what you imagine I've been sitting in the crib writing these verses like an addict Uh I hold the roof up like an attic Niggas know I hold the truth up So they happy I'm back at it Look, classic On these flows like the show toes They got a cure for COV But they ain't trying to sell those They trying to make a Billy Send a milli straight to hell They know you silly niggas Really win quarantine yourself So a mathematician Give everything I have to get it I'm like the future Plus the past and present I know you sold your soul for earth And know you mad you did it So on this verse I sent you back to get it Understand me Look, do it for the crib man I do it for the family I've been ripping all these verses cause I gotta do it amply uh mm. and you know I gotta kill it how I gotta do and everything I gotta do everything I calling all these shots I'm making bitches notice and everything I do requires a great big focus and I'ma tell you exactly what I'm in until that lotus come around the street and all these pretty bitches notice I gotta spit my verses off the top of my brain this house of pain and I'ma tell you what I'm doing Luke Kang I'm kicking flame yeah. uh and I've been doing it at Sirius XM uh when they say that's Liddy they gonna recognize that's him uh and I be killing it every time hoodie drilling it. No yeah. Chicago shit, but I be on my shit. Shout out to Danny Agnew, man. I hate it had to be you, but that's my nigga from the grave, and I'ma do it every day for you. Uh, yeah. And now I'll never fucking play with you. This how I be doing each and every fucking way. I'm through and through. The realest nigga that you've ever seen. The coldest nigga on the movie screen, and you know that is me, King Hoodie. King Hoodie! Yeah! 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 Yeah!
And that, that is the reintroduction of the Five Fingers. <laughs> five Fingers. King Hoodie just rebranded it. We don't say Five Fingers of Death no more. Uh. We just say Five Fingers because it's meant to bring your career some life. Hey. Okay? Hey. King Hoodie, man. You heard that, man. That's a true MC. Give it up yeah. for King Hoodie. Yeah. Come on. Thank you, thank you, thank Give you. Give it up for you. the DJ, DB, Come man. On, bring your Five Fingers Appreciate back. you, DB. On, you got some good beats, too, man. He hooked you up, bro. Yeah. yeah. All right, hey. You killed it. Love you, brother. Man, I love you too, Sway. I love all y'all, man. I love you, Hunter B. That, love you, Tracy. Yo. This is my first time meeting you, but I've always heard your voice. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Yeah, that's Mike Muse right there, Mike man. Mike Muse, yeah. I thought you was a doctor for a long. Every time I listen, I'm like, oh, is that a doctor that they got on there? <laughs> no, no doctor. Uh, he a doctor okay. of ratchet. <laughs> oh, uh, snap. <laughs> you be in the clubs? You be outside? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yo, thank you, King Hoodie. Listen, uh, citizens, this is somebody we stamp and approve. Make yeah. sure you get the EP Glass. This man is an all-around, well-balanced individual who constantly evolves. And if you ever see him, he only gives us great energy. I have no idea what happened in his day today, but he always comes with great energy, and we appreciate it. You're very talented, mm -hmm. and the industry needs to take note. But you don't need the industry. You got the people, and I see where you're hitting them from, okay? Stay with the people. I tell artists that all the time. I didn't do red radio for the industry, so that's why I don't care what they have to say. That's right. I have no interest in what the industry has to say about me. That's right. Chart-wise or any other thing, right? I always communicated with the people from day one, and that's what you do. So you talked about being noticed, and you talked about Double XL and all these different places and, uh, and some of your songs. Whether the industry recognizes you or not, the people will. And that's how you will sustain, because that's who you're talking to, Amen. okay? Mm -hmm. My man, and then they'll come on board. The industry will follow suit, All right? King Hoodie, get that man a round of applause. Yeah. Yo, I want to thank the whole staff here at yeah. Sirius XM yeah. here in Miami. Yo, y'all, y'all the bomb. The bomb. They come, they're friendly. Ooh, with that Cuban yeah. coffee. Yeah, man, you walk around New York, you got a force of high. Bruh. Bruh. Let's talk about the truth. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> New York, man, they got it. Hey, we might be moving to Miami. Yo, uh, man, it. salute to my team.